Hey guys, Dennis78382, now boondocking with Dennis. I appreciate you checking out the channel. I've been living out of my F-150 with a Lear cab on the back since February of 2019. I've been out on the road this time for uh, two weeks. Today, we are in Greenwood, Arkansas. Hey, Steamboat Willie, roll my intro. Hey guys, a big thanks to Drew for a very generous donation uh, through my PayPal account. So thank you, Drew. I appreciate you, buddy. You know, I hate to leave the area, but I'm um, going to go out and just do a little exploring today. Got some good uh, tips from Tracy and Leah. And i um, just going to head out and see what I find. Tracy had told me, and I hope I don't butcher this story, a local landowner here sponsors a little rodeo. Got... Uh, this set up and once a year everyone comes and uh, enjoys himself i uh i think that's pretty cool yes mansfield arkansas has hockey second time around second time around used secondhand items for all you people that give me a thumbs down pretty sure i saw your mother in there on the second shelf you know me guys i love finding a good caboose found one just across the street winford Park, Greenwood, Arkansas. Lovely little uh, park, beautifully landscaped, uh, recently renovated. Uh, the caboose came in 1993. It used to have a little sign in front of it that said Greenwood is not just a whistle stop. Uh, it was green because the caboose came from the northern Pacific. Well, traditionally, the um, railway that came through here was the Missouri Pacific. They always used red cabooses, so this particular caboose was painted red to honor that heritage. Uh, a lot of local businesses, private citizens, uh, states, uh, highway department chipped in, and uh, they uh, did a beautiful job. An Eagle Scout whose grandfather once worked for the Missouri Pacific uh, worked hard on the signage and he made this his Eagle Scout project. So it's got a really cool history. The spiders love it. It's a beautiful area. And uh, if you ever just happen to be driving by Greenwood, Arkansas, go down the main street. It's something to see. I'm uh, still staying with the Phillips family in uh, Mansfield, Arkansas. Big thanks to them. Great hosts. Having a good time with them. And then I get out during the day and do a little exploring. Found this. Tracy and uh, Leah Phillips have uh, steered me in the right direction to find a lot of good local uh, interesting things. Uh, this is a uh, memorial to uh, coal miners. Um, almost every county here has... Uh, some type of remembrance for their coal miners. Uh, Arkansas was huge uh, in uh, the coal industry back in the day. And uh, I, li I really like this little park, this little uh, memorial. Uh, it's just simple. It's basic. It tells the story. And um, I don't know. It just reminds me of the people of Arkansas. They put it in this beautiful setting with uh, a real respect towards the past and uh, honoring their history. Just something special to see. Now, Arkansas is known as the natural state. It's famous for its rolling hills and mountains, gorgeous streams. It's, it's something to see 
and uh, I'm impressed on every little drive I take down these backcountry roads. But do you know what state is known for having uh, the world's smallest soft drinks? That's right, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yep. This is kind of the um, town square of uh, Greenwood, Arkansas. Little pavilion, clock tower, farmer's bank across the street. They have this uh, old jail museum, which I'm really interested in. I love these uh, old jails. And um, I'd really like to get in there and check out the history, unfortunately. It seems like all these museums that I'm going to now, or at least most of them, are closed due the, to uh, the coronavirus. But uh, I love that type of fencing. It reminds me of just Civil War history, the old schoolhouse, uh, church. got the bell uh, out front. And um, I think it's really awesome that a small community like this has so much reverence for its history and would have these types of places to uh, help preserve and honor that history, whether it's good or bad in your opinion. Um, I find this area fascinating. There are so many beautiful and gorgeous lakes and streams in this area. I'm going to uh, leave uh, Greenwood and uh, get back to Mansfield. And uh, maybe I'll see a few things along the way there. Definitely want to get back for dinner. Uh, Leah Phillips is uh, spoiling me with dinner and uh, see what uh, Tracy and the kids are up to, spend some time with their family. And uh, absolutely love it here. I appreciate you guys checking out the video today. We're going to head north tomorrow and uh, I'm going to have something uh, unique for you. Thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hey guys, Dennis 78382. Now, this week, Boom Docking with Dennis. I don't know what's going on next week. Hey, Steamboat, really? Really? Nope. Great history. And uh, let's uh, blah, 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 blah. Up in Green Burrow. Burrow? Nope. Hey, guys. Dennis78382867530901. I don't even know anymore. <laughs>